Picture CCTV profile, we meet a young entrepreneur following his passion for the tourism hospitality sector. After working in the industry for six years, Dean Joseph embarked on an adventure. Armed with an idea sprung out of a conversation with a visitor, the 20-something-year-old decided it was time to not only dream big, but act on it. Today, he's the proud owner of Senusha's first cooking class studio, Cook Like a Lucian. I got all sorts of crazy ideas. Like um, one guy told me I should bring some military tanks to the island and have people pay to ride them. <laughs> <laughs> but one day I met this, this lady and we were chatting and she told me that she wished she could go somewhere to learn how to cook St. Lucian food. And I was like, that just makes so much sense, you know. And I just thought it was a great idea and I just decided to run with it. And that's over three years ago now. So it's been about three years since I've been trying to get to this point. Everyone that I've pitched the idea to have always been supportive. And this is not the first idea that I've come up with. I've had a few ideas, wrote, write, wrote them down, and just try to see if it was realistic. And most of them, eventually I realized, didn't make any sense. So I just put them on the back burner. But this one, I dissect it, and I just try to see if there was any fault in it. And it just really didn't have any fault. It just looked like an idea that could really work. And everyone I pitched it to was very positive and said that it's, it sounds like an amazing idea. So I decided to give it a shot. How did you go about giving it a shot? So that means you needed to do your plan. You needed to be able to get a lending institution on your side. So what was that process like in sourcing funding to start? Okay, well, to start, I had a little bit of funds saved up myself. Um, so I started, I started using my funds. But before we even go there, it, it was a process to actually get a location. Because the idea evolved over time. Because as, you start, as I start to put work on the idea, I realized that things had to be changed in order for it to happen. It started, my first thought was to do it outside on a beach, but then it would be so difficult to carry things to the beach and back from the beach, and then the weather would always get in, in the way. So I decided, okay, I need to have it in an indoor facility. So I started going around trying to find a place until I, I got to this location. Uh, as for funding, I had some money saved over from all the years I've been working and I started injecting that to start the business. I wrote down my plan um, and I kind of figured out how much money that I would need and of course sometimes things come up that you didn't plan for so you must always have extra money for that and halfway through I realized that Oh, this is a bigger project than I even imagined because it's going to take a lot more money than I have. But luckily, I got some assistance from my mom, which I'm very, very thankful for. Okay, she actually helped me in um, funding a small loan to, to finish up the business. So I must say thanks for that. Uh, what are some of the surprising things about being in business as an entrepreneur? I guess the biggest surprise is that things don't always run the way you picture them in your mind. You know, you can get to the end result, but they might just take a, a detour. But just continue pushing and you'll get to it. Because when I started, so many things came up that I did not expect. You know, when I went to apply for a health license, for example, I was told that I needed to add a few things that I didn't <clears throat> have at the time. So I had to go and re-budget and try to get the extra funds to finish up, you know, so things just keep coming and coming, but as long as you stay focused, you know, and you just try to find some means to get it, like, like they say, where there's a will, there's a oh, way. A way. So you just Never let pushing. the frustration get the better of you. Exactly. Dean says Cook Like a Lucian is an excursion not only for visitors, but locals as well. So Cook Like a Lucian has two, two sides to it. One where we appeal to our vacationers, and the second side where we appeal to our local community, where we would like to host team building activities for corporate companies, and also if groups of people want to meet up and come for dinner or for lunch, 
we can offer a variety of cuisines. So say if a group of friends, ladies, want to have a night out and learn how to cook French food, they can arrange the booking with me, email or call, and we can arrange for a chef to come in and teach them exactly what they want to learn. And Dean's mother, who, who has been in the restaurant business for decades, is a major influence, as he indicated, but she has also influenced Dean's younger brother as well. He learned the hands-on experience working in the family restaurant, Antonia's Place, on the St. Jude's Highway in V4. And he did so on school breaks, and he also pursued food and nutrition at the secondary school level. My name is Tony Joseph. I'm the co-founder of Cook Like Solution. I help cook, help set up. Normally when my mom is at the front leading the class with him, I'd probably be getting the salad ready for them or get passing on the knives or the chopping boards. Yes. So what's the joy in working in a family business? Because this is very much a family affair because you have your family around you to feel like you completed a task with your family. At the end of your oil, you can rejoice completing the task together as one. Beautiful. So what are your own aspirations? Is it that you did for the nutrition at school? Yes. So are you looking to pursue that at a higher level? Are you desirous of becoming well, a chef? I want to complete a bartending course in the future, but for now I'm helping him out, but part time I'll do my bartending course. Yeah, what about uh, uh, now they have the fancy name of mixology. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. So, so what about, you know, being able to whip up cocktails and, yeah. to, and experiment with yeah. different drinks that gives you a buzz? I just like mixing alcohol, like trying new things, new drinks, yeah, also creative Cheesecake, I make cheesecake, sell cheesecake everywhere. Yeah. So, any chance of teaching people how to do cheesecake there? I, I'm just saying, I'm kind of pitching. Maybe, it depends for future references, yeah. Yeah. So, for, for the, the, the menu wise, since you're putting your chicken master, um, you know, the, some of the simplest things that you will offer to people coming here, what's on the menu, what do you want to cook, what do you want? Um, cream fig salad. A toast salad, you have curry chicken, you have bakes, cool tea and dumpling, and we offer some fruits during the class to the visitors. Also they learn a lot about the importance about cocoa, raw cocoa that is, not refined cocoa. The raw cocoa, what we used to use before like the clay pots and these things. All the nutritional facts they learn as well at the class. Cook like a Lucian, yeah, it's very charming and it is located in the Meso Salazar building at Massan, Grosley. You can contact them via email at infocooklikealusion.com. The website is cooklikealusion.com and telephone number is 716 5626. And we at CDV wish the young entrepreneurs all the best.